The World Chess Championship 2012 was a chess match between the defending world champion Vaswanathan Anand of India and Boris Gelfand of Israel, winner of the 2011 Candidates Tournament. After 16 games, including four rapid games, Anand retained his title. The match, held under the auspices of the World Chess Federation FIDE, took place between 10 and 30 May 2012 in the engineering building of the State Tretyakov Gallery, Moscow, Russia. The prize fund was $2.55 million. Anand was the defending champion, having gained the title in 2007 and defended it in 2008 against Vladimir Kramnik, and in 2010 against Veselin Topalov. Boris Gelfand became the challenger in 2012 after winning the eight player 2011 candidates tournament. Anand's subsequent victory, therefore, was his third consecutive title defense. The match conditions called for 12 games to be played with classical time control. If a player scored at least six and a half points, he would be declared the winner and the match ended. By the end of the 12 games, however, the match was tied at six points each, so four rapid games were played in order to produce a result. Anand won the rapid game playoff with a win in the second game and draws in the other three games. Topic: <laughs> Candidates Tournament. The process for selecting the challenger underwent a number of changes. A major change was announced on 25 November 2008, when it was announced that a two-player challenger match would be replaced with an eight-player candidates tournament. The change was criticized by a number of players and commentators, as well as by the Association of Chess Professionals. In June 2009, FIDE indicated that the format would be in the form of matches. Originally, the intended venue for the candidate matches was Baku, but Levon Aronian announced that he would not play in Azerbaijan and matches involving him were to be held in a different country. The venue was changed to Kazan, Russia in July 2010. The Azerbaijani nominee Shakriya Mamadyarov still remained in the tournament despite the tournament not being held in Azerbaijan. In November 2010, then world number no. two Magnus Carlsen withdrew from the candidates' tournament, citing the selection process as not sufficiently modern and fair. He was replaced by Alexander Grischuk. Topic: Pairings and schedule. According to FIDE, the loser of the World Chess Championship 2010, Veselin Topalov, was seeded number one, and the rest were seeded according to FIDE rating as of January 2010. FIDE confirmed the matches on the 7th of February 2011. Games of the matches were played in Kazan, Russia, from 5 to 25 May 2011. Tiebreaks were conducted using game in 25 minutes rapid play followed by blitz play and then Armageddon games as necessary. The schedule of the event was as follows. Bracket Tiebreaks are in parentheses where needed. Championship match 
The championship match between Viswanathan Anand and Boris Gelfand was held from 10 to 30 May 2012 in Moscow, Russia, under the auspices of FIDE. Host selection The executive board gave during its Congress in fall 2009 in Halkidiki an option to London, United Kingdom to organise the World Chess Championship for 2012. They had until 15 February 2010 to exercise the option which had to include the offer of a prize fund similar to that for the World Chess Championship 2010 match. The London Chess Classic organising body, Chess Promotions Limited confirmed that London were in negotiations to hold the World Chess Championships in 2012. However, after FIDE failed to agree to the terms of the contract within the timeframe agreed upon, the option expired on 28 January 2011, and Chess Promotions Limited withdrew their bid to organise the event in London, citing the lack of time left to successfully organise the event. As a result, FIDE opened an application procedure for the hosting of the World Chess Championship match to be played from 10 April 2012 to 31 May 2012. Organizations interested in bidding to host the event had until 31 July 2011, 1300 Greenwich Mean Time to submit their documents including a bid fee. On 28 June 2011, it was announced that Moscow had submitted a bid to host the 2012 World Chess Championship. On 13 July 2011, the Tamil Nadu state government announced a bid of 20 crore rupees approximately $4.5 million for the match to be held in Chennai, India. Chennai is the home city of the world champion Viswanathan Anand. It was reported on 14 July 2011, that Minsk, Belarus was also interested in hosting this event, in an interview with the Russian newspaper, Commissant, dated 29 July 2011, Boris Gelfand expressed his concern about the offer made by Chennai. Gelfand said the offer from Moscow was the only transparent one, he was not sure of the existence of financial guarantees by the Indian side. The Chennai offer was in Tamil language and he claimed it had not been translated in English. In the past, matches, including those of Kasparov against Ponomaryov and against Kasimzanov, were cancelled due to lack of financial guarantees. On 2 August 2011, FIDE announced that it received bids from the Russian Chess Federation Moscow, and a second one from the All India Chess Federation Chennai. Both were well above the minimum required prize fund. FIDE announced they would contact the bidders and players, and declare the winner of the bid by 10 August 2011. Kursan Ilyumjinov, FIDE's president, told the Russian newspaper, Sport Express, that the financial offer was not the only criterion. Other factors, including the possibility of the propagation of the chess in school program, and popularization of chess in a particular region will also be considered. He would also take into account the views of the champion and the challenger. On 8 August 2011, FIDE announced that the Russian Chess Federation had won the bid and will host the match in Moscow in May 2012. The prize fund will be 2.55 million US dollars. 
Skolkovo, the innovation project near Moscow, was named as a possible venue. On 20 February 2012, an agreement between the Russian Chess Federation and the Trechakov Gallery was signed to stage there the World Championship match. Andrei Filatov, the sponsor of the match, believes that bringing chess and art together can open a new page in chess history. Topic: Match conditions. The match format was the best of 12 games. Players scored one point for a win and half a point for a draw. The match ended once either player scored a minimum of six and a half points. Time control was 120 minutes, with 60 minutes added after move 40, 15 minutes added after move 60, and 30 additional seconds per move starting from move 61. In case of a tie at the end of 12 games, there would be a series of tie breaks. Colors would be drawn and four rapid games would be played. The time control for these games would be 25 minutes plus 10 seconds per move. If the score was tied after the four rapid tie break games, colors would be drawn and two blitz games, 5 minutes plus 10 seconds increment per move would be played. If the score was tied after two blitz games, another two-game blitz match would be played, under the same terms. The process would repeat, if necessary, until five blitz matches have been played. If the score was tied after ten blitz games, a single sudden death Armageddon game, would determine the champion. The winner of a draw of lots would get to choose the color to play, with white given 5 minutes and black 4 minutes. Beginning with move 61, a 3 second increment would be added following each move. If the game was drawn, then the player of the black pieces would be declared champion. Topic Seconds Anand had the same group of seconds who helped his preparation in World Chess Championship 2008 and World Chess Championship 2010, Peter Heiner Nielsen, Rustam Kasimdranov, Soya Shekhar Gangbali and Radoslaw Wojtashik. Gelfand's seconds for the match included Alexander Husman, Pavel Elyonov, and Maxim Rodstein. In a post game press conference, Gelfand confirmed the media speculation that he had additional seconds, who were not revealed. After the match, Gelfand revealed that the other seconds were Evgeny Tomashevsky and Mikhail Roes. Gelfand also said that Garry Kasparov had offered to be his second for the match and help in preparation, but Gelfand refused, saying, I was really shocked. For me it was unthinkable to receive help from somebody who has access to secrets of my colleagues. Topic: <laughs> Previous head-to-head -head record. Before the 2012 match Anand and Gelfand played 35 games against each other at classical time control with Anand winning 6 games and Gelfand winning 5 games. Gelfand had scored his last win in 1993. <laughs> Schedule and results Regular schedule games 1 to 12 were scheduled to begin at 1500 local time. Tie break schedule 
All tie break games were scheduled to be played on Wednesday, the 30th of May, with game 13 scheduled to begin at 12 o'clock local time. Topic: Regular games. Topic. Game 1, Anand Gelfand, 1 half to 1 half. Grunfeld Defense, D85. 1, D4, NF62, C4, G63, NC3, D5, 4. CX, D5, NX, D5, 5, E4, NX, C3, 6. BX, C3, BG7, 7, 7, NF3, C5, 8, B flat 5 plus NC6 9, D5 QA5 10, RB1 A6 11, BXC6 plus BXC6 12.0 to 0 QXA2 13, RB2 QA5 14, D6 Ra7 15, BG5 EXD6 16, QXD6 Road 7 17, QXC6 QC7 18, QXC7 RXC7 19, BF4 RB7 20, RC2 0 0 2 1, BD6 Re8 22, ND2 F5 23, F3 FX E4 24, NX E4 BF5 and a half to one half a draw by mutual agreement. Game 2, Gelfand Anand, 1 half to 1 half. Gelfand started his first game with White in the match by playing 1, d4, and the game went on to Slav defense. The position in the game followed the game played between Kasparov and Gelfand in Linners in 1991 where Gelfand lost, but in this game the challenger opted for a different line. Anand played several accurate moves to set up a good position for neutralizing White's active pieces. After 19 moves were played Gelfand decided to exchange his knight for a bishop by 20, nx f5 to avoid a presence of opposite colored bishops, but the position afterwards appeared to be with no weaknesses and a well-placed knight for black. The game saw no progress on both sides and Gelfand offered a draw. At the press conference he described the line he chose as, "...a slight symbolic edge", semi-slav defense, d45 1, d4, d5, 2, c4, c6, 3, n, c3, n, f6, 4, e3, e6, 5, n, f3, a6, 6, b3, b flat, 4, 7, bd2, n, bd7, 8, bd3, 0, 0, 9.0 to 0, bd6, 10, r, c1, e5, 11, dot, cx, d5, cx, d5, 12, e4, dx, e4, 13, NX E4 NX E4 14 BX E4 NF6 15. DX E5 NX E4 16. X6 QX D6 17 B3 BF5 18 QX D6 NX D6 19 ND4 RF E8 20 NX F5 NX F5 21 BC5 H5 22 RF D1 R A C823 KF1 F624 B flat 4 KH725 RC5 and a half to one half a draw by mutual agreement Topic <laughs> Game 3 Anand Gelfand 1 half to one half The game opened with a Grunfeld defense, as in the game 1, but Anand deviated very early by playing 3, f3 instead of 3, nc3. 
Following the opening moves White gained an edge and was pawn up, but Anand ran into time trouble, having to play seven moves per minute to reach the time control at move 40 and having missed the winning continuation in the double rook ending. At move 20 White chose to capture correctly with 20, nxf6, rather than 20, rxd2 after which the continuation 20, NXE4 21. FXE4 BXD4 22, RXD4 RF2 23, E5 B flat 5 gives black strong counterplay. In the next moves, the game continued with 20 RXF6. 21, RXD2 RF5 22, BXG7 KXG7 23, D6, C diagram, and then 23 RFC5. At the press conference, Gelfand said, I understood the position was dangerous. I underestimated a few moves. I thought that 23. RFC5 could win back the pawn, but I underestimated 24, road 1 and here I had to fight for the draw. I was quite on edge for some time during the game. The game was drawn after 37 moves, as White could not find a line to play for a win. After the game Anand concisely said, I came closer today. Grunfeld defense, d70 1, d4 and f6 2, c4 g6 3, f3 d5 4 dot cx d5 nx d5 5, e4 n b6 6, n c3 b g7 7, b3 0 0 8, Q D two E five nine D five C six ten H four C X D five eleven dot X five N eight D seven twelve H five N F six thirteen dot H X G six F X G six fourteen point O to zero minus zero B D seven fifteen K B one R C eight sixteen Car one E four seventeen B D four N R four eighteen N G two Q A five 19, NXE4 QXD220, NXF6 plus RXF621, RXD2 RF522, BXG7 KXG723, D6 RFC524, Road 1A525, RH4 RC226, B3 NB227, RB1 ND328, ND4 Road 229 BXD3 RXD330 RE1 Road 231 KB1 BF5 plus 32 NXF5 plus GXF533 RE7 plus kilogram 634 RC7 RE835 RH1 RE236 D7 RB2 plus 37 KC1 RXA two and a half to one half a draw by mutual agreement. Topic Game four Gelfand and and one half to one half. Semi Slav defense D forty five. 1, d4, d5, 2, c4, c6, 3, n c3, n f6, 4, e3, e6, 5, n f3, a6, 6, b3, b flat, 4, 7, bd2, n bd7, 8, bd3, 0, 0, 9.0 to 0, bd6, 10. QC2 E5 11. CX D5 CX D5 12, E4 EX D4 13, NX D5 NX D5 14. X5 NF6 15, H3 BD7 16, RAD1 Re8 17, NX D4 RC8 18, 
QB1 H619, NF5 BXF520, BXF5 RC521, RFE1 RXD522, BC3 RXE1 plus 23, RXE1 BC524, QC2 BD425, BXD4 RXD426, QC8 G627, BG4 H528, QXD8 plus RXD829, BF3 B630, RC1 Road 631, KF1 A532, Key 2nd 533, G3 NE734, B4 kg 7.5 to 1 half a draw by mutual agreement. Game 5, Anand Gelfand, 1 half to 1 half Anand started the game by switching the opening move to 1, e4 perhaps to sharpen the play, but Gelfand continued with the Sicilian Sveshnikov instead of the Sicilian Nydorf or Petrov defense and the resulting position left the world champion unprepared. The game reached a standard position after the theoretical moves in the opening, with a bind in the center for white and a backward d6 pawn and weak d6 square for black that is compensated with his activity. In the next moves Gelfand successfully equalized the position and left his opponent with minor chances. The game ended in a draw after 27 moves were played, Sicilian defense, Sveshnikov variation, b33 1, e4 c5 2, nf3 nc6 3, d4 c x d4 4, nx d4 nf6 5, nc3 e5 6, ndb5 d6 7, bg5 a6 8, na3 b5 9, nd5 b7 10, bxf6 bxf6 11, c4 b4 12, nc2 0 0 1 3, g3 a5 14, bg2 bg5 15 point o to 0 b6 16 qd3 bxd5 17 dot cxd5 nb8 18 a3 na6 19 dot ax b4 and xb4 20 and xb4 a xb4 21 h4 bh6 22 bh3 qb6 23 bd7 b3 24 bc6 ra2 25 rxa2 bxa2 26 6, QA3 RB827, QXA2 and a half to one half a draw by mutual agreement. <laughs> Game 6, Gelfand and and, one half to one half. Semi Slav defense, D45. 1, d4 d5 2, c4 c6 3, n c3 n f6 4, e3 e6 5, n f3 a6 6, q c2 c5 7. c x d5 e x d5 8, b2 b6 9.0 0 n c6 10, road 1 c x d4 11, n x d4 n x d4 12, r x d4 b c 513, road 1 QE 714, BF 3 0 0 1 5, NX D 5 BX D 5 16, BX D 5 NX D 5 17, RX D 5 RAC 8 18, BD 2 BX E 3 19, BC 3 B flat 6 20, QF 5 QE 6 21, QF 3 F 6 22, H 4 QC 6 23, H 5 RFD 8 20, 
24, RXD8 Plus RXD825, QXC6 BXC626, RE1 KF727, G4 BD428, RC1 BXC329, RXC3 4.5 to 1/2 a draw by mutual agreement. Topic Game Seven: Gelfand and And 1 to 0. Gelfand scored the first win of the match. Commentators considered 23. G5 to be the critical mistake, allowing Gelfand to get a winning position with 24 QC7 QXC7 25 RXC7. Anand sacrificed his bishop for counterplay but it was not enough. In the final position, Black can queen his pawn but cannot stop the threat of Ing 6 plus followed by Rg7 mate, semi Slav defense, d45 1, d4, d5, 2, c4, c6, 3, n c3, n f6, 4, e3, e6, 5, n f3, a6, 6, c5, n b d7, 7, q c2, b6, 8, dot c x b6, n x b6, 9, b d2, c5, 10, r c1, c x d4, 11, dot x4, b d6, 12, b g5, 0, 0, 1, 3, B D three H six fourteen B H four B flat seven fifteen point O to zero Q B eight sixteen B G three R C eight seventeen Q E two B X G three eighteen dot H X G three Q D six nineteen R C two N B D seven twenty R F C one Rab eight twenty one Na four N E four twenty two R X C eight plus B X C eight twenty three QC two G five twenty four QC seven QXC seven twenty five RXC seven F six twenty six BXE four DXE four twenty seven ND two F five twenty eight NC four NF six twenty nine NC five ND five thirty RA seven NB four thirty one NE five NC two thirty two NC six RXB two thirty three RC seven RB one plus thirty four KH two E three thirty five RXC eight plus KH seven thirty six RC seven plus KH eight thirty seven NE five E two thirty eight NX E six one O black resigns. Topic Game eight Anand Gelfand one to zero Anand started the game with the same play as in the third game, but Gelfand early deviated by playing 3 c5 instead of 3 d5, which was seen in the game 3. The game was followed with 4, d5, d6, 5, e4, bg7, 6, ne2, 0, 0, 7, nec3, and h5. Gelfand tried to provoke g4 by playing 7, nh5, but Anand did not opt for that line. But after few moves the black bishop occupied the f5 square and let white the opportunity to play 12, g4 with a fork on the black's bishop and knight. The game continued with 12 re8 plus 13, kd1 bxb1 14, rxb1. Gelfand made a serious error on move 14, overlooking Anand's 17, qf2, which trapped Gelfand's queen. This idea was also missed by Grandmaster commentators Peter Lako and Ian Nepomniakchi, who preferred Black's position until Anand played 17, qf2. 
Gelfand could have saved his queen by sacrificing his knight with 17. Nc6 18.dxc6 qxc6, but his position was still lost. After 19. bg2, if 19. qd7, then nd5 threatens a killing knight fork on f6, while after 19. qc8 20. Rf1 attacking the f7 pawn white also gets a decisive attack some threats are 21 bd5 piling up the pressure against the pawn 21 nd5 threatening forks on f6 or e7 and 21 qf6 intending h6 and qg7 hash at only 17 moves, this was the shortest decisive game in World Championship history. King's Indian defense, e60, 1, d4, nf6, 2, c4, g6, 3, f3, c5, 4, d5, d6, 5, e4, bg7, 6, ne2, 0, 0, 7, nec3, nh5, 8, bg5, bf6, 9, bxf6, exf6, 10, qd2, f5, 11, xf5, bxf5, 12, g4, re8, plus 13, KD1 BXB1 14, RXB1 QF6 15. GXH5 QXF3 plus 16, KC2 QXH1 17, QF2. 1 to 0 Black resigns. Topic Game 9, Gelfand and and, 1 half to 1 half. For the first time in the match, the Nimzo Indian defense was played. Gelfand obtained a slight edge in the opening by having a position with a bishop pair and hanging central pawns against two knights and a healthy pawn structure on the opposite side. Gelfand chose a concrete line in the middle game that was criticized by several grand masters and exchanged a rook, bishop and pawn for the Anand's queen. However, Anand found a way to make a fortress and defended the game that was drawn after 49 moves as the longest game since the start of the match. Black played 15 bxf3, which was evaluated to be a strange and unnecessary move, according to Peter Svidler. In the following moves White got a better position with a bishop pair and a mobile center. But, Black played 18 qd6, and provoked White to play 19, c5, the move was criticized in the press room and moves like 19, a3, proposed by Smirin or 19, h3, proposed by Grischuk and Shipov were probably better. The game entered an endgame with a queen for white and a rook, knight and a pawn for black. White was trying to play on the a7 pawn and to attack on the kingside, but Black appeared to have found the right evaluation in the end. He played 40 ne4, before the time control, and the game was drawn after move 49, Nimzo Indian defense, e54 1, d4, nf6, 2, c4, e6, 3, nc3, b flat, 4, 4, e3, 0, 0, 5, bd3, d5, 6, nf3, c5, 7.0 to 0, dx, c4, 8, bx, c4, cx, d4, 9, x4, b6, 10, bg5, b flat, 7, 11, QE2 NBD7 12, RAC1 RC8 13, BD3 BXC3 14. BXC3 QC7 15, C4 BXF3 16, 
QXF3 RFE817, RFD1H618, BH4 QD619, C5 BXC520, DXC5 RXC521, BH7 plus KXH722, RXD6 RXC1 plus 23, Road 1 Rec 824, H3 NE525, QE2 Ing 626, BXF6 GXF627, RXC1 RXC1 plus 28, KH2 RC729, QB2 kg 730, A4 NE731, A5 ND532, A6 KH733, QD4 F534, F4 Road 735, kg 3 kg 636, QH8 NF637, QB8 H538, KH4 KH639, QB2 kg 640, QC3 NE441, QC8 NF642, QB8 RE743, G4 HX G444. HX G4 FX G445, QE5 ING846, QG5 plus KH747, QX G4 F648, QG2 KH849, QE4 kg 7 1/2 to 1/2 a draw by mutual agreement. Topic Game 10, Anand Gelfand, 1 half to 1 half. Sicilian defense, Rossolimo attack, B30. 1, E4, C5, 2, NF3, NC6, 3, B flat 5, E6, 4, BX, C6, BX, C6, 5, B3, E5, 6, NX, E5, QE7, 7, B flat 2, D6, 8, NC4, D5, 9, NE3, D4, 10, NC4, QX, E4, plus 11, QE2, QX, E2, plus 12, KX, E2, B6, 13, D3, NF6, 14, NBD2, 0, 0, 0, 1, 5, RHE1, B7, 16, KF1 RHE817, Bar 3 ND518, NE4 NB419, RE2 BXC420. BXC4 F521, BXB4 CXB422, ND2 BD623, RXE8 RXE824, NB3 C525, A3 1 half to 1 half a draw by mutual agreement. Topic Game eleven Gelfand and and one half to one half. The game started in a Nimzo Indian defence as in the game nine. First surprise of the game was at move eight when Anand played eight. BD7, a developing move with idea to bring the knight on the c6 square in the future. The instigator of this move was David Bronstein, but it was popular and played mostly during the middle of the 20th century. At move 17, C diagram, Gelfand decided not to take a risk by playing 17, NE5 instead of the more ambitious 17, ND2 followed with 17, E5, and some complications. The position that arrived after the exchange of queens was slightly better for white, but black was in no danger. Both players agreed to a draw after 24 moves were played, Nimzo Indian defense, E54 
1, D4 NF62, C4 E63, NC3 B flat 4 4, E30 0 5, BD3 D5 6, NF3 C5 7.0 0, DXC4 8, BXC4 BD7 9, A3 bar 5 10, QE2 BC611, Road 1 BXC312. BXC3 NBD713, BD3 QA514, C4 CXD415. X4 QH516, BF4 RAC817, NE5 QXE218, BXE2 NXE519, BXE5 RFD820, A4 NE421, Road 3 F622, BF4 B823, RB3 RXD424, B3 7 and a half to one half a draw by mutual agreement. Topic Game twelve Anand Gelfand one half to one half Sicilian defence Rossolimo attack B thirty one E four C five two NF three NC six three B flat five E six four B X C six B X C six five D three N E seven six B three D six seven E five ing six eight H four N X E five nine N X E five D X E five ten N D two C four eleven N X C four bar six twelve Q F three Q D five thirteen Q X D five C X D five fourteen N X E five F615 NF3 E5 16.0 to 0 KF717 C4 B718 B3 B flat 719. CXD5 BXD520 RFC1 A521 BC5 RHD822 BXE7 and a half to one half a draw by mutual agreement Topic Tie break games Anand retained the world title by defeating Gelfand in the rapid round. He was able to put time pressure on Gelfand in all four games. In the second game with White, Anand played his moves so fast that Gelfand was forced to make moves with very few seconds to spare. Topic Game thirteen Gelfand and and one half to one half Semi Slav defence D forty six one D four D five two C four C six three N C three N F six four E three E six five N F three N B D seven six Q C two B D six seven B D three O O eight point O to zero E five nine dot C X D five C X D five ten E four E X D four eleven N X D five N X D five twelve dot X five eight H six thirteen B three N E five fourteen N X E five B X E five fifteen Re one Re eight sixteen B flat two B D seven seventeen Q D two Q F six eighteen G three R A C eight nineteen A four Q F three twenty B four Q X B three twenty one Reb one B X G three twenty two Ra three Q B six twenty three B X D four B X H two plus twenty four KXH two Q D six plus twenty five R G three R X E four twenty six B X G seven K H seven twenty seven R X B seven R G eight twenty eight Q X H six plus Q X H six plus twenty nine B X H six R X G three thirty 
KXG3 BC831, RC7 KXH632, RXC8 RXA4 and a half to one half a draw by mutual agreement. Topic Game 14, Anand Gelfand, 1 to 0. Sicilian defense, Rossolimo attack, b30 1. e4c5-2. nf3 nc6-3. b-flat 5e6-4. bxc6 bxc6-5. b3 e5-6. nx e5 qe7-7. d4 d6-8. NXC6 QXE4 plus 9. QE2 QXE2 plus 10. KXE2 B flat 7 11. NA5 BXG2 12. RG1 BH3 13. DXC5 DXC5 14. NC3 0 0 0 1 5. BF4 BD6 16. BXD6 RXD6 17. RG5 NF6 18. RXC5 plus KB8 19. NC4 RE8 plus 20. NE3 ING4 21. ND5 NXE3 22. NXE3 BG4 plus 23. F3 BC824 Re1 RH625 RH1 RHE626 RC3 F527 KD2 F428 ND5 G529 Road 3 Re2 plus 30 KC1 RF231 H4 Re232 RC3 B flat 733. Road 1 GXH 434. NXF4 RE835. RH1 RC836. RXC8 plus BXC837. RXH4 BF538. RH5 BXC239. RB5 plus car 840. ND5 A641. Ra 5 kilobits 742. NB4 BG643. NX A6 RXF344. NC5 plus KB645. B4 RF446. A3 RG447. KD two H five forty eight N D seven plus K B seven forty nine N E five R G two plus fifty K C three B eight fifty one N D three H four fifty two Re five B G six fifty three N F four R G three plus fifty four K D four B C two fifty five RH5 RXA356 RXH4 RG357 ND5 RG558 B5 BF559 RH6 BG460 RF6 RF561 RB6 plus CAR762 RG6 BF363 RG7 plus KB864. NC3 B flat 765. KC4 BF366. KB4 BD567. NA4 RF768. RG5 BF369. NC5 KC770. RG6 KD871. CAR 5 RF 572. NE 6 plus KC 873. ND 4 RF 874. NXF 3 RXF 375. K 
KB6 RB376. RG8 plus KD777. RB8 O Black resigns. Topic Game fifteen Gelfand and and one half to one half Slav defense D twelve one D four D five two C four C six three NF three NF six four E three BF five five NC three E six six NH four BG six seven NX G six HX G six eight BD three NBD seven nine zero to zero BD six ten H three O one one QC two QE seven twelve Road one R A C eight thirteen C five B flat eight fourteen F four N E eight fifteen B four G five sixteen RB one F five seventeen B five G X F four eighteen E X F four Nef six nineteen B X C six B X C six twenty Bar six R C seven twenty one B three N E four twenty two R B two G five twenty three RDB one GXF four twenty four BXF four E five twenty five BXE five NXE five twenty six RXB eighting six twenty seven NXE four FXE four twenty eight QF two QG seven twenty nine KH two RCF seven thirty QG three NF four thirty one R eight B three QX G three plus thirty two R X G three plus KH seven thirty three Road one N E six thirty four B two R F two thirty five B G four N F four thirty six R B one R F seven thirty seven R B eight R X A two thirty eight R C eight E three thirty nine RXE three RXG two plus forty KH one road two forty one RXC six NE six forty two RF three RXF three forty three BXF three NXD four forty four RC seven plus KH six forty five BXD five RC two forty six B four R C three forty seven Kilogram two kilograms five forty eight KH two N F three plus forty nine BXF three R X F three fifty R X A seven R C three fifty one R C seven K F four fifty two R C eight K five fifty three C six K D six fifty four H four Ra three fifty five Kilogram two Re three fifty six H five Re five fifty seven H six R H five fifty eight R H eight K X C six fifty nine R H seven K D six and a half to one half a draw by mutual agreement Topic Game 16, Anand Gelfand, one half to one half. Sicilian defense, Canal Sokolsky attack, B50 1. E4 C5 2. NF3 D6 3. B flat 5 plus N D7 4. D4 N G F6 5. E five Q A five plus six N C three N E four seven B D two N X C three eight B X D seven plus B X D seven nine B X C three Q A six ten E X D six E X D six eleven Q E two plus Q X E two plus twelve K X E two F six thirteen 
B3 B flat 5 plus 14 KD2 BC6 15 Rad 1 KF7 16 KC1 B7 17 D5 B D7 18 B flat 2 B5 19 N D two A five twenty R H E one R H E eight twenty one Re three F five twenty two R D E one G five twenty three C four B four twenty four G three B F eight twenty five R X E eight B X E eight twenty six N F three kilograms six twenty seven Re six plus KH five twenty eight H three BF seven twenty nine RF six BG six thirty Re six Re eight thirty one BF six G four thirty two HX G four plus KX G four thirty three NH two plus KH three thirty four NF three F four thirty five GXF four kilograms four thirty six Ing five Ra eight thirty seven Re three KF five thirty eight B flat two A four thirty nine NE six BH six forty RH three BXF four plus forty one NXF four KXF four forty two BF six Ra seven forty three Re three B four forty four BH four AX B three forty five BG three plus KF five forty six AX B three Ra one plus forty seven KD two Ra two plus forty eight Key one Ra six forty nine F three B flat one fifty KD two H five fifty one KC one H four fifty two BXH four KF four fifty three BG five plus KXG five fifty four KXB one KF four fifty five Re six KXF three fifty six KB two and a half to one half a draw by mutual agreement Topic Match Results Topic Timeline of Changes The procedures for choosing the challenger and host underwent a number of changes and controversies. A timeline is shown below. February 2007 FIDE initially announces that the challenger will be the winner of the Chess World Cup. Proposal A. This leads to protests from a number leading grandmasters, so this proposal is soon scrapped. June 2007 FIDE President Kherson Ilyumjinov announces a structure culminating in a two player challenger match. The first stage is the FIDE Grand Prix 2008–2010, a Grand Prix series of tournaments between 21 Elite players, beginning in April 2008. In late 2009, FIDE will stage the Chess World Cup 2009, a series of knockout mini-matches following a similar format to the Chess World Cup 2007 128 players, 7 rounds. In 2010, an eight-game challenger match will be played between the FIDE Grand Prix 2008–2010 winner and the Chess World Cup 2009 winner. The winner of the challenger match will play the defending champion in a 12-game match in September 2011. Starting with this 2011 championship FIDE plans to hold future World Chess Championships on a two-year cycle in the same format. 
February 2008 – Alexander Morozovich announces he is boycotting the Grand Prix, saying the process is too long, unwieldy and disorganized. He claims that Vizwanathan Anand, Vladimir Kramnik and Veselin Topalov are also boycotting. March 2008 – The lineup for the Grand Prix is announced. The top four rated players in the world at the time Kramnik, Anand, Topalov, Morozovic are not in the tournament, other eligible players not participating are Alexei Shirov and Judith Polgor. The Week in Chess reports that Kramnik and Topalov are not participating because the event had insufficient prize money. April to May 2008 – First Grand Prix tournament takes place in Baku, Azerbaijan. July–August 2008 – Second Grand Prix tournament takes place in Sochi, Russia. 23 November 2008 – Qatar, who was scheduled to hold the third Grand Prix beginning on 13 December, withdraws as a host nation, and is replaced by Elista, Russia. 25 November 2008 – Ilyumjinov announces the new structure the eight-player candidates tournament described above, instead of a two-player challenger match. 26 November 2008 – The changes are ratified the next day at the FIDE Congress. 5 December 2008 – Magnus Carlsen withdraws from the FIDE Grand Prix 2008–2010 in protest at the changes partway through the cycle. He argues that the Grand Prix players have been disadvantaged, as the winner now qualifies for an eight-player tournament instead of a two-player challenger match. 6 December 2008 – Levon Aronian issues an open letter of protest, but does not withdraw from the Grand Prix. 11 December 2008 – Michael Adams withdraws from the Grand Prix for similar reasons to Carlsen. 13 December 2008 – The third Grand Prix tournament begins in Elista, Russia, with a number of changes to the playing list see FIDE Grand Prix 2008–2010. 15 December 2008 – Ilyumjinov announces that both events will take place the two-player challenger match and the eight-player candidates tournament, with a final decision on the structure in March 2009. 16 December 2008 – The Association of Chess Professionals objects to the change, saying, the system of the World Championship cannot be changed once the cycle has started." The 11th of February 2009 Universal Event Promotion UEP, the company which organized the World Chess Championship 2008 match, submits a bid to host the candidates tournament as a series of matches. 9 March 2009 – FIDE accepts UEP's bid, confirming that an eight-player candidates tournament will take place. No mention is made of the challenger match. There is also a slight change to the qualification for the candidates tournament, two players rather than one air to be taken from the ratings list, and the winner of the World Chess Cup 2009 qualifies, but the runner-up does not. The 22nd of June 2009 FIDE announces regulations for the eight-player candidates tournament, indicating it will be organized as a series of short matches. October 2009 It is reported that the candidates matches will be organized by Azerbaijan, but that the matches involving Armenia's Levon Aronian will be played elsewhere, and that the matches will be played at the end of 2010 and start of 2011. 
The 20th of October 2009, the FIED Executive Board gave an option to London to organise the event and announced that it would only open the bidding procedure if London would not take the option. The 20th of April 2010, London confirms holding an option to organise the 2012 World Chess Championship. The 26th of July 2010, the FIDE Presidential Board in Tromsø, Norway, decides to move the candidates' matches from Azerbaijan to Kazan, Russia, with Mamadyarov's position intact. If Topalov refuses to play in Kazan, Alexander Grischuk, the third place finisher in the FIDE Grand Prix, will take his place. The 28th of July 2010, after learning of FIDE's intention of replacing him with Grischuk should he refuse to play, Topalov backs off of his previous statement refusing to play in Russia and indicates that he will participate in Kazan. The 29th of July 2010, Topalov through his manager indicates that he would still refuse to play a match against any Russian in Kazan. This could not theoretically happen until the candidates' final, since Kramnik and Grischuk are the only Russians in the candidates' tournament and play in the lower half of the bracket, while Topalov plays in the upper bracket. At the time of this statement, Kramnik was the only only Russian in the field. The 5th of November 2010, Magnus Carlsen decides not to take part in the planned candidate matches. The 10th of November 2010, FIDE announces that Grischuk will replace Carlsen. Any other withdrawals will be replaced by Dmitry Jakovenko, the fourth place finisher in the FIDE Grand Prix. 3 February 2011 – London withdraws its 2012 World Championship bid. 28 June 2011 – Moscow confirms bidding to host the 2012 World Championship. 13 July 2011 – Chennai bids to host the 2012 World Championship. 9 August 2011 – Skolkovo near Moscow chosen as 2012 World Championship venue 26 November 2011 – 2012 World Championship match in Moscow relocated to Trecharkov Gallery 20 February 2012 – Hosting agreement signed between the Russian Chess Federation and the Trecharkov Gallery